Hi, it's Kieran here from Flex.ie, and today I'm going to give you a uh, preview of a uh, build of the Flax HTML5 game engine that we've been building for quite some time and slacking off on for quite some time. And um, today I'm just going to show you some general features that I, primarily the ones that I worked on over Christmas. This is actually the first video we've done, so yeah, this is it. <laughs> um, so uh, as most of you would know who follow Flax, you'd know you know what the crack is. But for those of you who don't, uh, you might want to check out Flax.ie um, forward slash uh, Flax Engine or that. Um, but basic premise is a HTML5 game engine, and it's written in um, Java and uh, cross compiled with the help of Google Web Toolkit into JavaScript. And it's extremely optimized JavaScript. And um, yeah. So we're using the canvas element to draw our sprites to the screen here. Um, and as you can see, I'm now in editor mode with this bar here and some nice little CSS tree effects. Um, so yeah, this is the, the editor which I built over Christmas. Uh, so as you can see, I select a tile. Oh, and by the way, this is the Pokemon tile sheet, as most of you know. It's not ours, don't claim it to be ours, we're just using it as a placeholder. Yeah, don't sue us. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we hold on the shift, and, uh, oops, and basically just move our mouse around, and as you can see, we're tiling. Now it is a slight bit slow uh, with the tiling, and uh, not not majorly slow, but just a little bit slow. And um, that is primarily due to the fact that this canvas is quite large. Um, it's 1,920 by 992. Um, and anyone who knows anything about canvas, that's very big. Um, in terms of performance. Um, because the larger the canvas, uh, the lower the performance. Generally. Um, and the canvas resizes to the browser window, so this works on, you know, iPhone, um, tablet devices, etc. Um, and just to show, I'm just previewing it in uh, the latest version of Chrome, Chrome 9. Um, I think I just got that today, actually. Um, so, yeah, we have the tiles there. We can also load in another tile sheet. Um, here's one I have, um, I got somewhere, I believe it's free to use, and thank you for the person who made it, even though I can't remember exactly where I got it, so I'm very sorry, <laughs> but anyway, um, and I can load in that tile sheet, and as you can see there, it's basically just, um, just changed the tile sheet, and now it's rendering different images, uh, so I can select my image, and place it. Um, so, yeah. Um, and let's say if I was to refresh. Um, so, I'll just show you the loading feature. Let's see here, I've, I've done this in a magical map. And I want to export my map. So it exports into JSON, as you would expect with JavaScript. So if I refresh, it's going to be gone because I didn't actually make the save to the server. Um, so I'll just control V and there you can see all our lovely JSON. And we import map and there we go. So fairly fluid and nice and that. Um, now currently I don't have any entities in the map. Um, I did have them over Christmas but um, I just removed them. Uh, this is just the latest build and I haven't actually put them back in but the map is live edited and um, everything like as you're changing the map um, is live so if you're changing a collision of a tile or that uh, it will instantly uh, take effect um, so that's about it um, it's the console so I'll put some debug information as you can see there is Gwit log, very handy tool. 
Um, currently the new map function doesn't work, but yeah, it's all the same. Um, we have the camera system implemented. I implemented that over Christmas. Um, so that's that's about it on the latest build. Um, so hopefully I'll try and uh, keep you up to date on any changes we make and progress we make. Although currently, with uh, college being fairly hectic at the minute and Imagine Cup entries and the Global Game Jam and stuff like that, and the game slant Tipperary, we have a lot on our plate. So that's about it. Um, subscribe. Uh, go to flax.ie um, and uh, subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, Flax Project, uh, at Flax, at Flax Project, uh, Facebook, and Buzz or whatever. All right. Thanks.